Ascension Pioneers and welcome to my first video in a new year so happy new year 2015 and beyond and I hope you had a beautiful holiday this video will emphasize a bit more about going deeper into our Ascension journey through the year of self-mastery and alchemy and soul's wisdom and deep profound transformation through our inner magician so this is what this year is all about and in this update I want to go a bit deeper into what awaits us those of us who really really want to walk a path of self-mastery where everything that we're creating is an extension of us so nothing is external nothing is given nothing is taken sometimes people still write to me and they express certain obstacles that they perceive under path or certain uh, responsibilities they feel they have or all of these things right and sometimes we all forget that everything is here because we have chosen it. that's the first rule of self alchemy is assessing all in our lives as a chosen reality in this moment which can change which can alter at any moment so recently a friend has said to me that they have these soul desires and if only they had a five million or I don't know how many million dollars in their account they would pursue it so you see this is how we give our power away we give the power to the indefinite to the what if if so and so on so really cultivating our inner magician in this year will become powerful for us because we have been working towards self-empowerment for so long and now we understand certain things we have awareness about them but now it's time to really move the energy forward and start to create the kind of lives the kind of realities that we really desire for ourselves because when we move into higher octaves of being when we move deeper into our ascension this is all that we'll be focusing about yeah so maybe in the past we have been more focused on doing the conscious clearing on really aligning with the right levels of discernment so that we know what is right and what doesn't feel right in this moment although you know there is no right and wrong it's just right and not so much right not so aligned with you in the now moment and as we master this as we master inner feelings our next level will always be as you know we open up our mind to new possibilities and we really feel them and then it cultivate them through our physical reality through that feeling so during these stages of our awakening we have been through so many things and experiences and you know that deep understanding comes through that experience and as we gain that understanding it is then time really time to use it on our alchemy so alchemy so alchemy isn't something that you might perceive as something so mystic that you can never reach you know we all talk about the great masters like the master of the first and the seventh race Saint Germain and maybe the Maha Chohan and all of these beautiful sparks that really in a way lead our ascension forward as you know the Saint Germain uh, his mastery he is the guide of the new age he's the guide to the new golden age just as the, the, the Jesus the Jeshua then Joseph was kind of like the guide of the Piscean age and now the Saint Germain is the guide of moving into a new age in this Aquarian age so he is all about freeing ourselves through realizing that all the potential always lies within us and then how do we use it you know we might be aware of our potential but how do we use it this whole year will be about that and spirit keeps showing me the words inner magician inner alchemist divine magi um, and sometimes people still ask me what that is what does that mean for me you know the right answer is that what does it mean for you when you imagine the beautiful life when you have all the freedom all the resources all the possibilities at hand what does that life look like so kind of like a way and a step forward in this direction would be if there was no obstacles whatsoever what would my desire be then you receive the vision and how do you work with the vision do you say oh yeah but it might never come true or yeah you know maybe not for me and these are all still things that hinder us remember there is a great rule um, of divine principle that states that anything can hinder you if it's not in your divine alignment this is not just something negative even positive overly positive things can hinder us the only way to really realize what still hinder us is to recognize what no longer is true for us in this moment so what might have been true for us just maybe a few hours ago or a few moments ago might not feel right anymore in this now moment so the first step of soul alchemy is really tuning into the presence of the now 
seeing that as if everything is your extension and if there's no obstacles, if there's no conditions, if there's no external things that govern you because that's how it is in truth. And if you can imagine that, then what is your reality? What does it look like? What is your vision? Second step is living deta detached from our goals. Living in a goal-free society. In an inner knowing that all of your goals already exist in the now. There is no goal to pursue outside of you because we've been in this age of constantly perceiving some, um, pursuing for something and so many people seeking something that they don't even know what they're looking for. I mean, the answer is simple. What you're really looking for looks for you and that, that it, it is always love. And then how you express that love and unique creativity in your own inner um, magical essence is about you so there is no direct answer that can come from anyone else when you step on a path of self-mastery there is no one between you and source it's just you and source through your I am presence that consciousness of who you are as an individualized essence will always shift will always expand so there's this great book I really recommend you it's from Jeffrey Hopp and it's about Saint Germain there's two books actually I haven't read them both I just read parts um, it's about masters of the new age and something about divine alchemy, I think. So Saint Germain really presents these things that are really important for us to embrace in this new age, working with this new energy. So the new consciousness on this planet that some of us are developing and showing the way then to others who also will maybe, you know, awaken and see that this is what their soul desires. This is what they're guided into. So this path of, of self-mastery, and I feel this year will be so much about this, yeah, you created certain certain conditions for yourself, and now can you even break free from those? Can you live in an unlimited flow, whatever it is? Can you live in total detachment from anything and everyone and everything? These are just the basic steps. And then from there on, it is what do you then wish to create and how do you do it? So this is the level of self-alchemy, soul alchemy. So there's been numerous divine teachings about this and even though you know there's there's great things that we need to develop the understanding for within ourselves and in the first book about this divine alchemy we've just read um five basic human senses and then five angelic which are higher self senses and there's everything from focus creativity which is that imagination divine imagination presence well the first one is always is consciousness yeah so that a deep present state of awareness and then you move and then you build up upon those senses and when you really know how to work with all as one that's when you're really tuning into your inner magician and I feel this year will be all about that and we will all be given some sorts of experience that will initiate us further on and this is what I'm being shown so as this new year started when I went out of my house there's been um, buzzard birds flying and singing above my head and this was a real confirmation that this not just this month but this year in general it really started in a in a powerful pivotal way and that we will receive a lot of spirit messages but not just you know we've been learning so much how to be guided and once you're guided it's about okay now i've mastered the art of divine guidance and you know i've been talking a lot about that in my previous videos so first was how to free yourself then how to empower yourself in that freedom then really how to tune in that divine guidance an absolute perfection of your soul that already knows everything for you and from there on when you really master those levels and it's just check 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 and you know there's always constant expansion but on a certain degree where our art we are on now vibrationally you master that vibrational essence and that and that space and then you transcend onto newer higher octaves of that right so um from there on it's really all about how do i create how do i really move things from my own essence and create something that is is reflecting my own divinity and at the same time it's connected with the divinity of all and that is based on serving the greater good, serving the higher vision. So, for example, once you will shift into the consciousness of being a divine cosmic servant, others will also start to serve you. And there is no uh, separation between that. It's, it's a divine paradox and it's a beautiful truth that when you serve life in creation, life reflects that in you. And a beautiful thing that Saint Germain stated here is that life needs to be lived through complete non-resistance so everything that you're still resisting will be shown in your reality as life resisting you so you'll feel these 
contractions and um, friction and you want to move through something and yet you're not in that flow and this is this is what we're going to master now and we when we will be in that flow it will be time to really assess what kind of tools from within we will develop in a new imaginative way let's say for now on we had this age when so many people talked about healing in self-mastery there is no healing nobody needs to heal you you are your own healer all the cells in your body reflect your divine consciousness you just give them orders there is no such thing as an imperfection you give direct orders you are the alchemist you know how to work with that you know how to work with the intent but not just stating it as you know these constant affirmations and saint germain um he he actually explains that as well because they don't work when you're just saying them. you really have to move into the space of total clarity and when you know through your soul's vision what you desire it's all about pushing away everything that still in a way hinders you like i said it doesn't have to be just negative sometimes overly positive and things that maybe we become too addicted to in a positive sense also can hinder us it's about the art of walking that middle way and then just grabbing those inner resources and knowing the right timing, the right place of how to use them. And as the year will go along, I will share different topics that will come to me through Spirit. But this is the first video update where I want to show you what Spirit has shown me about this year and how special it is. Because in a way, what we already know, it's, it's when we embody it in a human sense, you know, in this reality, it's, it's such a beautiful... Um, the manifestation of that, we will be surprised. We will be surprised at our abilities. We will be amazed sometimes. And when you get certain um, things and conditions in your life, don't ever judge them. Have compassion for them because they are there because they are there, period. They need to be for some reason. If something is there, it's because you're creating it. And that's, that's the only law of true compassion. So Saint Germain also explains that true compassion is not you know, being compassionate in a way that you fear for things, you want to protect them, you want to overly heal others, you want to save others, you think that how things are in nature are not perfect, you know, because you don't see the greater picture behind it, you know, for example, he gives um, this example of animal um, species um, being extinct, and he says, well, maybe they want that, maybe they're moving on to higher upgrade, because we don't see everything, and when we get to the clingy non-acceptance, and we want it to be different through our lower mind, we don't understand and that's not true compassion and he also states that um, some of the healers in this old age are basically having a lot of selfish patterns because they want to be like these great messiahs and rescuers and almost like Jesus the Christ but they don't understand that um, we are not meant to do that true compassion is knowing that divine plan of everything in divinity is perfect and once you find your own space in that perfection that's when you will start creating in, in your own direction and creating your own perfection within the perfection of all that is because you don't know what choices other souls or other um, parts of creation are choosing so on this level of pure self-mastery it really becomes just about us there are no intermediaries you know we were learning to be maybe guided by external things and getting signs and messages and omens from spirit but on a deeper level of self-mastery also how he explains is that you don't need crystals anymore you don't need things to to utilize your power these are just um these are just maybe intermediary steps but on a certain level it's really just you and that raw source power when you really cultivate the power then you become the true magi and this is you know somebody asked me what that means for me this is what it means for me but it's about us discovering for ourselves what that is no one can give us understanding no one can truly give us awareness because it is something that is self-obvious it's self-evolving it, it matures in your own individuality when it's time for you and when we embrace that perfection when we don't want to reach something that maybe it's not yet time to reach when we really live our life in total non-resistance that is the first foundation step for our inner alchemy and when we live in that pure state of non-resistance then we really will receive divine higher attunements and higher upgrades and resources that we will understand on a deeper level but up until the point where we're still mastering that this is what it will be the platform will be for us so let us not want to be somewhere where maybe the timing for our maturity is not yet so just let us embrace each step as it is so many times we want to we want to rush ahead of ourselves and we miss the beauty of the process there are no goals in the higher scheme of things we on a human level sometimes perceive goals as such 
but they're not really goals on a higher perspective um, kind of reality so as we're moving to higher octaves of our being things will change even that which felt so true for us in one moment it will disappear it will dissolve the moment we will step on a new higher awareness state of being and this is why it is so important this year to constantly constantly plug into what you're feeling in the now you know some sometimes there's something and you say to somebody this is my truth and then a week later they say but wait a minute this is what he said to me he said yeah but in that week i progressed it transcendent i i am attuning to this even higher aspect and when we can live in that flow that's when we're really not resisting anything we're just going with the flow with what is and the upgrades of our own expand itself as we integrate it in our bodies and uh, this is really a beautiful process and whenever i hear, hear words lately like goals you know have those goals new moon goals full moon goals what do you want to do it's when you're a master of the self everything is just it's just constant flow it's constant expansion you don't need to define because your divine self already shows you everything you're just receiving it embodying it receiving embodying like like really becoming the, the tool of ascension, you yourself are becoming this um, direct reflection of your higher self. So you don't need those intermediaries like goals or <clears throat> sometimes we needed them maybe on another level. But when I, sometimes I try to tune into something that maybe was true for me even months ago, I just can't anymore. It feels like it's just no longer there. And this is why this is so important for us to really, really go with what is now. And this way we will be closer to that self mastery energy in each moment whatever it will bring us whatever we will be learning in that moment this is what ascension is about when it's time it comes and when we say when the student is ready the teacher comes that doesn't just mean as a physical person as a teacher it means your own inner tuition when you are from your higher self receiving these upgrades higher states of awareness pouring into you and you're just getting the understanding of it in your physical density body so um as we will master these basic foundations, then I feel we will be moving more towards working then with energy. And I've shared this before in my first video about the 2015 and beyond, that this will become important because when we move into a new dimensional space, um, it's not just that, okay, now we're here, so now what, yeah? You understand what I mean? Sometimes we so um, we were so anticipating what will happen with our ascension. We wanted things. and. Let me ask you this, okay, you want something, but when you get there, what do you do with it? A lot of people ask for relationships. They want these divine partnerships. Once they get them, sometimes they don't know what to do, how to handle it. Sometimes it feels like too much and they don't know what to do with it. I've just recently had to ask this question to my friend because we so like to state our desires. And I say, okay, but then what? what do you, when you do this, when you say, you know, then what do you do? What do you do to really make it happen in the physical? Because too often we just we just perceive things in a wishful thinking kind of way, but we're not really directed into what will be our next step and our next and our next. Knowing that the things here in this reality, how we master it, that we really engage in the energy of doing it, making things real. So um, this is this next phase, I feel, that especially after March when the um, square alignments will be complete on that level, when we move on to a new galactic cycle, we will be shown that energy of okay now what now you have these resources but what do you do with them you know you get a child these beautiful color pencils and everything and they just start to paint they don't even ask questions they just feel what's there and they just start creating it and it's kind of similar but in a way that we we have more responsibility to what we create because we have um, a lot of things that we are processing so through this understanding we need to know that there needs to be purity and with greater awareness greater responsibility it's how it is so these are just the basics of our year ahead. Um, during this time, I will be working finally on my webpage because <laughs> for now things, I guess, just weren't flow. And this is true compassion, embracing what is and not really pushing against the flow. I also have some other things in mind and really, really moving on to new vibrational space, which for me includes a lot of singing and toning and I need to <laughs> utilize my vocals, I need to express um, that way so that my body and my vocal cords can get used to this higher um, vibrational energy that comes true because that's the thing you know we gotta we gotta make the physical follow and this is what we're doing now in this ascended space so during this time I hope you're gonna have so much fun this month and <laughs> I'll see you soon as always so much love wisdom and power and take care bye bye for now